Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the store. Now we are in the garage with Dodge Steel Z420 Dark Pen. And the mission that we want to take is uh, actually the task that we want to take is not here because we've finished all of them. Uh, is here, this one, and says awkward situation. Now, uh, deliver to the house in the northeast, which is there. And then scout 800, which is here. And technically, we will come in from this. Go all the way here. After we cross B12, we go in. Drive here. Get this scout. Go like this. And actually, if you can cut, we can't. So go like this. Up. All the way this way. This way. Cut here. This way. Then probably take a detour from here to end up. There. That's the plan. Let's start tracking this. Let's switch to the time of the day that we prefer. Uh, go back to garage, re garage, and let's go. 300 liters we have. We have to drive this car. And uh, as slow as it may be, this is the car that get, gets things. Hello, trucks. And this for a change, you know, since we've given all of them. And it's a mission where you have to drag the Scout 800 to its destination. I think this is going to go around the Scout 800. There is, however, another uh, load star that needs to be recovered. And for that, we're going to use a truck. The truck is already uh, been chosen. It is prepared, it is standing by. I wanted to do the load star mission first, but just for the sake of variety. Variety is what we are doing in this season. We are just driving this. So, fortunately or unfortunately, we just going to drive at this pace. Be it dumb idea, off road be it not. So, what you have to do. Actually, you can also mute me. Let your fellows listen to my battle. Service bar, fuse, tire, and I've got a crocodile alligator paint job. I should have gone with the 750 also. 750 is actually also very capable. Uh, I can. Rescue the load star with the load star. That would be cool. Hmm. This is a little bit slow for my liking, honestly. The only silver lining with this is that 300 feet, the 300 liter to do that doesn't run out. It will drive for a scout and the power it has doesn't fail at all. So, I guess time is the boss to it. All of uh, the first uh, season, uh, we had the other fourth map, the Rift, I think it was called. Where this was discovered. Uh, I think then when I discovered this, and I wasn't sure, because then. 750 wasn't available. So this was the go to scout then. It is actually one of the top scouts as of now, also. But since the 750 came and it got raised suspension and then it got custom suspension, and then it has so much fuel and so much repair points, and it's just, <laughs> it's just too crazy. And after we discovered the 750, I think they were. Stargazer was a 605R. I don't know what the mission was called, but 70 or it was called something. And you had to you know, take it from some place to some place and then only. Okay, and then only got it. So, uh, yeah, so then once we got 70, and I got used to the 70 so much that mostly for a scout I've driven it. I'm also driven the Yard, the 87 and 37 is. I've driven this, I've driven the Barn Loafer, I've driven 
the uh, Martian uh, the Losa I haven't been Scout 800 I haven't been uh, what else the Scout the CK1500 I have given a lot because when we started the game that was the only vehicle that was available and unknowingly I have also tried to pull a trailer's worth of cargo I mean a truck's trailer worth of cargo with the scout not knowing that the power and all of that was calculated in snow run so that's impossible if you can and if you want you can check out the early videos of SnowRunner where I'm trying to pull up a cyborg trailer I think with the CK-1500 not knowing the difference between scout and uh, offer trucks <laughs> also then I think I had the GMC-800 to get you the 1000 to get you Thirty people fuel to reach to the northern exit, which is kind of an average now. Now we do so many parts up to the same and now we can almost use just the same fuel. With this thing though, I'm not worried about the fuel here I'm going to do this more than enough for me. Where I started to where I need to go to where I have to deliver. And then we'll simply recover. I wish they would give me another gearbox feature that the give one special is still slow and here are a couple of trucks I don't remember exactly which one we will skip this as usual and it's off and away we go all the way to the cross the roof and then we turn it in go to the scout peak yeah. Seen the snow on this actually pretty good, including this one. Uh, I've played the other games, the Forza Horizon and uh, uh, what's the other one, Grand Turismo and all, where they've uh, worked on so much graphic that it almost feels realistic. This, on the other hand, doesn't that it's good enough. The physics, the charm of the game. Is what I like. Although I think sometimes that you know I'll go back and play Mud Runner as well. Because I haven't played Mud Runner, I just started with this and I love it. So maybe maybe I'll go back and play Mud Runner, but then again Mud Runner is little outdated now. Also, I've heard that they're introducing one of the Mudrunner trucks, the military something one, in one of the seasons that are coming up next. Probably that's going to be a paid DLC, but who? Never mind. So we'll see when it is introduced. I think it's an 8x8 or 10x10 something. Uh, it's the truck which is on the cover of Mudrunner. I think that's, that's the one. I'm not sure what's it called. So there it is, that scout location has popped up. I wonder if I can go in here. Let's see. I can go in here, there's. Uh, Oh, so the scout is already there. So if I go in here, hmm. so I'd rather just go from here. So 
so dark, so good. I like these maps, uh, the brighter ones. I remember when I was driving uh, in Mandra, and then as and then you start the brightest time of the day, the morning 6 a.m. as of SnowRunner, it's it was still a little dark, and then the light came in, and by the time afternoon 3 p.m. you reach the game, it started to go back to uh, being dark again. And it was a very limited light, and so I had to keep switching between morning, afternoon, morning, afternoon, and again and again. Which is what I do here as well. Too bad for people who play this game in the hard mode, who cannot switch time. I mean, yeah, I would like to try hard mode with this time thing. Yeah. That time thing keeps you from doing it. I mean, I don't mind, I can't recover the car, can't, uh, you know, uh, can't get the fuel for free and whatnot. But time, come on, my eyes hurt driving in the night. So it should be able to get that. Not then just that. I think it's a custom option. Do I have it explored it? So, we are now to go scout the candid. I don't know how and why in every single season we have to recover a scout 800. I guess the devs created this truck to be, you know, the scout to get stuck. And then in every single season we have to recover at least one. Scout 800. Yeah, don't worry, this thing doesn't get stuck. So, I'm just gonna line it up properly so we can exit. So, this thing off, and now we will go this way. Ugh. To go that way, to go this way, to go that way. In here, here, here. Uh, down this way, this way, that way, this way, here, this way, and this is the route to go here and then there. Cool. So that's the route. Uh, whatever fuel we have left is more than enough. We can start this thing up. And uh, we are ready. And in case that we have to uh, repair this stupid thing, we are equipped. So. And yes, it's going to do all of that stunts. And we can deal with that as well. Look at the power on the tuss. It's dragging this thing on its head. And that is what I like about this scout. It's brutal scout. Doesn't care. Shifts to fifth gear. Keeps on going. Scout return. Now that I've marked my route, all I need to do is uh, just hold down the gas. And it's right there. Probably 10 15 minutes. But that's about it. And what do you like the turning circle as well? This in real life is an ATV. A team anti person. Hmm. I think I've seen this kind of stuff in real life as well. It is huge compared to the scout as you can see. And that is why it is 
significantly more powerful. I mean, the scout, is, the scout behind is not turned on, FYI. And yet I have no problem pulling it. So, this is the reason why I wanted to use this and not use a truck. Because a truck would be an overkill, which is exactly what we're doing in, doing in the next task. When we have to pick up the load star. That is not, that is not an overkill if uh, if you want to recover a truck like I mean recover a scout like it should be covered in real life. So if a car break down breaks down, the recovery truck puts it on its bed and then transports it. So which is what I have in mind for the next task. So I won't say it's an overkill. Uh, but yes, it, is, it won't be as easy as this one. Because then the center of gravity of the truck is going to be a little higher, and we have to worry about the truck floating. Apart from that, I think this is a street right to where the load starts, and then from there to where it is still below. Turning circle is an issue, yeah, takes a lot of time to turn. But apart from that, I have no complaints. Very dependable scout. Sometimes can you fill in the shoes of a truck? Like now. <laughs> Who would have thought that the scout would be recovered like this? I mean, they didn't put a condition of how how to recover it. They said to recover. So I think this is good enough. And this is where we go in. Yeah, thought so. Oh, they put wooden planks for me to cross, which I won't need, but okay. Thank you. I think I've crossed from here before. I was driving the Zix. Why did I cross from here before? I don't remember. If there's the house. All the way there. Well, this has been a good one, I would say. This one. But I do remember driving to here. Why I was driving to here. No idea. There's a house, there's a scout. I just hope it doesn't uh, ask me to repair it. Because uh, how much points I have, I frankly have no idea. There you go. Okay, so awkward situation complete says it's good you were you were around to answer my plea. It wasn't if it wasn't for you. Who would have helped me? I guess I need to build a garage now. Three forty four experience and three five five zero for compensations and yeah, that's how you can do the awkward situation. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like the content and please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I post new videos every day and if you made it far, thank you so much. I will see you in the next one.